Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for December 2019. So I really hope that you are doing well. And also if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you'd like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And um, also my intention bracelets are on Etsy. This one here is the Crystal Gem Healing Bracelet. So if anyone is interested, my bracelets are available on my Etsy. So the shop link will be in the description box below. They're meditated with, they're sage, they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. There are so many bracelets on there. Um, also free international shipping on everything. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for the amount of support that I have received on them. Seeing how so many of you have seen results with them is amazing. So do check out the reviews for the bracelets on my Etsy shop. I'm so proud to be able to do this. I spend a lot of my time and energy making these bracelets, making these readings for YouTube as well. Um, so, you know, I am constantly there for you. Constantly, constantly. All right, Aquarius, let's have a look, see what is coming through for December of 2019. As I mentioned, I hope that you are doing well. Let's see what is coming through. Oh, cards are flying. Five of pentacles, very interesting. Are you feeling lonely? That's a, it's a genuine question I'm asking. It's a very genuine question. Okay, let me just make up the spread since we have quite a few cards here. This is the intriguing card, the Five of Pentacles, because this, uh, the first thing that I thought when I, yeah, first thing I thought when I saw this card was loneliness. Are you feeling lonely? This card is about being left out in the cold. It is about not being uh, invited to something. Um, what I'm seeing though is that this is a very interesting energy because this can cause a lot of overthinking, it definitely cause some form of sadness. And the other thing I'm seeing is that this could be that you're not invited somewhere that you feel you should be invited. It's about an invitation because even the Ace of Swords is, is about an invitation. This is a very specific message that may not resonate with all Aquarians. I am just putting that out there because this is a very specific message that will very much so resonate with some of you and will make zero sense to others of you. So this is very specific. This is not one of my open readings, which is sort of like a reading where it is so general that it can resonate with so many people. This is a very specific reading. So if this doesn't resonate with you, all right, and doesn't make sense, and you're like, Meh, I don't really get invited to anything anyway, so it can't be me, you know, um, be open to the reading, you know, watch the rest of the reading if you want to, but for sure, um, I would recommend you to watch your rising, Venus, um, or your moon sign readings if you're here for your sun sign, all right, just, just saying, but do listen to it because you never know, right? You never know. It, it could happen to you. So the Five of Pentacles is about feeling left out because there is an invitation here and you did not get that invite. So this is about feeling left out. The Three of Cups is a very social card. It's about being left out in the cold, not being a part of something, all right? Now, the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune also suggest that this could be sort of like a third party situation um, being left out um, in that sense it could be a love triangle you know something along the lines of that so it can be you know um, an invitation for something but it could also be to do with a love triangle now the hierophant here is really suggesting that you are so much stronger than you think you are you can get through this um, and in many ways if this is how people are treating you it's not the right crowd for you People that love you, people that respect you, people that want you to be happy would never treat you like this. It is a huge life lesson sometimes to learn that sometimes the universe is testing us and it's trying to see whether we're going to stand with people that do not treat us right. So just know that you are so much better than this situation, okay? You're so much better than these people. 
And I'm just saying that because it's true. It is true, all right? You won't believe the amount of times, you guys, that I was friends with people that were just no good for me, but because they were the only people around me, I thought, couldn't do any better, right? Those people are not my friends right now. And I am so happy to say that because truly, when I think about the time and the place that I'm in in my life right now, I don't have time for those kinds of people. You know, you just grow, you become stronger. And sometimes those people are hindering your growth. They are bringing you down. They're bringing you down to a low vibrational energy, which does not help us, right? It does not help us. This is also about you connecting to your spirituality in December, feeling confident and good and happy with the kind of person that you are, right? You're kind, you're loyal, you're dedicated. So what if you were not invited? So what, you know? Yes, it hurts. Yes, it does. But it's not the right crowd. That's what I'm seeing, all right? You are so much stronger than that. You're better than that, right? You don't need to be around people that don't care about you. Why do that? You're sending out the wrong message to the universe. The universe is thinking, oh, okay, it's, it's fine then, you know? We'll just keep bringing those kinds of people your way since, you know, you're fine with that. See? Sometimes we attract, we keep attracting the wrong people because we're not standing up for ourselves and thinking, actually, I deserve better. Sometimes we have to go through this phase in our life where we are in our own energies and with ourselves more because we're trying to understand ourselves and what we deserve. And then naturally, the bright people for us start to flow in. Some of you need to hear this, which is why I'm saying it. And actually, this is also something I have personally dealt with. I might actually do like a story time sort of video on this at some point because I have moved various countries. I have had, you know, a lot of people come in and out of my life. And um, it is truly incredible how, how people can, you know, use you and, and tear you down and, and, you know, they feel satisfaction out of that. You don't need that in your life. Nope, you do not need that in your life. Trust me, first hand, I'm saying that. Okay, three of, <laughs> three of wands. You have options, all right? You have options. Friends-wise, romantic, romantic-wise, this is a message that I, re I really hope you've stuck around for this because it's, it's important. See, strength. You're so much stronger. You're so much better than this. Wheel of Fortune shows in time you will get what you truly, truly deserve. But it's also about you standing up for it, believing in it. And especially with this Knight of Swords, it is about making sure that you're going towards the things that do actually matter to you and people that matter to you and people that respect you and also finding yourself with your own spirituality. The card that I'm waving around is the ten of, ten of Cups. Look at that. Okay, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You're constantly stuck in this energy. You can't get to this Ten of Cups. You can't, right? You've got to change sometimes the situation. Fives and Terror are also about change. Okay, this loneliness will change, but you're in the wrong crowd um, if, if, if you're feeling like this specifically or if you ever feel like this. If you ever feel like this, you're in the wrong crowd. These are not the people for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be feeling like that, right? You'd feel quite good if they were the people for you. Seven of Pentacles is about reflecting on your situation. What is going on? How is it happening? Um, what is it? And like, how is it making you feel? It's very important to evaluate a lot of these things, to understand a lot of these things and to think, does it truly serve me? Does it make me happy? What is going on here? And we got to sometimes take that action, right? And get ourselves out of that situation, away from that situation and think to ourselves, what do I really deserve, right? I deserve someone that would invite me because they wouldn't want to make me feel left out. Someone that actually cares, you know, to acknowledge your existence. If you're finding that you're getting quite sad throughout this reading, just know that you are purging, right? You're releasing, you're, you're thinking about things which is allowing you to acknowledge these things. Better to acknowledge than to stay in a situation like this because the universe is constantly looking at us and what we're doing. And I just want you to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Things will be okay. You will find the right crowd for you. You will. All right, so Aquarius, this was a bit of a heavier read, but I feel like some of you just needed to hear this. Really did. So if this resonates with you, you must let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do check out the description box below for more information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. Hope you have an absolutely lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And definitely do take care and all that good stuff. And yeah. 
Take care. Bye, Aquarius.